I uh, happen to pick up my 50th goal. It's uh, it's a nice feeling right now. It's uh, it's nice to get, I guess, since we've won first place and uh, we are ended up in first place in the league. But I have to uh, give a lot of credit to my centerman, Terry Caffrey, who I've been playing with as a regular for most of the season, and my left winger, Britt Selby, who's helped me out quite a bit. I think it all just boils down to the one word, is work. You have to work together when you're out on the ice, especially when you're on with a line. If you're, as, as we were said, with my centerman, my left winger, we were set throughout most of the year, and we just worked together and worked and worked hard at it so that we knew what we were supposed to do once we get out on the ice and just kept working at it until the coach had confidence in us and we had confidence in ourselves to go out and do the best that we could. I think before you go out on the ice, you'd always look and see who's out there who you're against. There's, uh, I think you'd be awful silly if you just went out there and not look around to see who's on defense because you come down with your head down. You deserve to get hit. I think you just have to uh, look around and move the puck. Let the puck do the work. If you get hit, if it's a clean check, you don't mind. But it's a dirty check while well, you try and get evens. I'm awful proud to be a member of the WHA that uh, I'm glad that I made the jump to come to Boston because uh, it is such a great hockey town and uh, of course they support the team. The people have been very, very patient with our hockey club. player and has been in the Canadian system, uh, never really having a chance to develop, has had a great year. I really enjoyed uh, playing on the Jack. He's 100%. Uh, he's always working hard. He, he's just like a player. He's behind the bench. He gets involved in the game. He's always giving 100%. had a real successful season. I think the fans-wise, we had a average of about 10,000 fans at the gardens here. We ended up in first place, and this is what uh, we were out to do in the beginning of the year, is have a first place team in Boston. We knew we had to have a first place team to compete with the Bruins, and a uh, great point in the uh, history of the Whalers was Tommy Webster scored 50 goals, and uh, there's only 11 men in the history of the of Major League Hockey that have scored uh, 50 goals, and uh, I think we're pretty happy about that. The beginning, I'm sure that we had kind of an overflow of Bruin fans who couldn't get in to see the Bruins play and wanted to follow NHL hockey. Uh, but as the year went along, uh, I could see these people kind of turning over, and I think now they're completely dedicated Whaler fans. And uh, I only think our future is a real solid and bright one, as I'm sure next year if we played all our games in the garden or a facility such as that, we'll average better than 10,000 a game. The Whalers had the best attendance rating in the league last year, and their 30-year-old president, Howard Baldwin, was named the league executive of the year.